Meditation is food for the mind. Food, clothing, shelter, medicine, all the good things you need to keep the mind going and to give it the rest it needs, give it the energy it needs, give it the protection it needs. As for the medicine, you have to look in, into the diseases of the mind, because we all got diseases of the mind. There's greed, there's aversion, there's delusion. Even though they may not have gotten to the level where they're going to throw us into a, a sane asylum, still we do have our own craziness inside. There's that fear that many people have that if they meditate they'll go crazy. Actually, we're already crazy to some extent. Let our lives be run by ideas that have no basis in reality, and many of which we have seen already they have no basis in reality, and yet we like them. And so we go with them. So the medicine here is the clarity that comes from the meditation. Once the mind is rested, once it's settled in, once it's got energy, you want to be really clear about what's going on inside. You can't let down, down your guard here because the germs of the defilements are going to come in at any time. Once they get established, then they can start growing. So you want to make sure they don't have any chance to get established. As soon as the mind is leaning a little bit into the direction of greed, a little bit into anger, a little bit into delusion, you've got to stop and ask yourself, okay, what's going on here? What am I believing that really isn't true? Because sometimes we think our emotions come first and then we verbalize them, but other times the verbalization, the ideas behind them come first. And even if they, the ideas come afterwards, they can feed in the emotion. So you've got to look out for what are, what are the assumptions? Always keep a clear eye out for those things and be slightly questioning, okay, what's this, what's this, why is that? It's because you question things that you learn. Think about Newton. He learned about gravity by questioning, why is it that apples fall off the tree? Everyone from Aristotle on said, well, it's just their nature to fall. Well, why is it their nature? What's going on here? And by questioning, he learned a lot about gravity. There's still a lot we don't understand, but it's through the questioning that we learn. If you just say, well, that's the way it is, you never learn anything at all. You've got to pry around to see if it could be some other way. After all, that's how the Buddha himself gained awakening. He asked himself, why am I looking for happiness in all these wrong places? Is there another way? And by questioning, he found it. So your primary defense against Get falling for greed, aversion, delusion is that ability to question. It's once the mind is still, have that clear, alert, questioning attitude. And you'll find that you'll learn a lot, clear up a lot of problems that otherwise just get covered up. <laughs>